Friends, one day we will see his glory. Amen. And we will enjoy everlasting communion with him who is already living in us. And by his sufferings and death he earned it for us. Through his intercession he's now preparing it for us. His righteousness gives us the right to inherit it. And the fact that he is living in us through his spirit. The scripture says that's the first taste of glory. That's the deposit of our inheritance. And friends, there are always God's grace and mercy there for us when we repent and turn back to him. So let's just take a moment then of silent reflection to ponder our own lives and confess our sins that we might come to the Lord's table cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Scriptures tell us that Jesus Christ is perfect and that through his death, burial and resurrection, he has paid the debt of our sins which would forever keep us from the presence of God. He has done for us what we could never do for ourselves. So the resurrected Lord Jesus is our living hope. And while we all wait for his return, we have the opportunity to honour his request that we remember his sacrifice on the cross. You know, Jesus asked us to do this, didn't he? So this is what we're doing here this morning. We're remembering and honouring. Jesus wishes that we celebrate Holy Communion together as a church family. Let us remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, on the same night that he was betrayed, took the bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Okay. So would you like to come down now and collect your piece of bread and the cup? Has everyone been served? Yep. Okay. Let's take our piece of bread. Jesus called himself the bread of life. And he also said bread represents his body. So let's eat together the bread of life himself. Let's now take our cup.
juice in this cup represents the blood of Christ. The blood that he shed for the forgiveness of all sins. Every sin that we've ever done. And he shed it for us. So let's drink together and be thankful. Jesus, as we have received these gifts of bread and juice, it's just like you've put your life into our hands. And we put our lives into yours and we're so grateful. Lord, take us, renew us and remake us. What we have been is past and what we shall be through you still awaits us. So Lord, we pray, lead us on, take us with you. Amen.